Hey, mini enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back, hope you're well, and I hope you're having a great day. So today, yes, we're gonna get some paint on it. We're gonna get painted, and, and it really does turn out very well. Don't skip forward to the end, watch the whole video, because uh, you'll see me going through the motions, but I'm really pleased with how it comes out. Um, you can see I've got around to chopping up the front end now, so I've taken most of the wings off. Uh, this is just gonna be a bit of wall art. I don't know where it's gonna go, probably over the other side. I'm not gonna clean it up, I'm not gonna paint it, I'm just gonna leave it as it is, as a memory of what the car was like. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I do need to give an update on the budget. So today, like I say, we're gonna be painting the car. I've got all the paint from Paints For You. I basically just phoned them up and said, look, I'm a bit of an idiot, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm spraying this classic Mini. Uh, what do I need? And they guided me through, they told me what I needed, they selected the right anti-bloom thinners, the right paint, the right primers, etc., for me to use. So uh, there have been people that have given me advice, so thank you very much for that. Richard um, left a very detailed description the other day or comment telling me exactly what paint, what wet and dry to be using. Unfortunately, like I say, I'm a couple of weeks ahead of the video, so I've already painted it when I've seen that comment. So maybe I should have given you a bell, Richard. Um, but I am limited a little bit. So I'm spraying in my garage. I don't have uh, an air fed mask. I don't have fancy PPE or anything like that. I'm using a really small compressor. It's a Hunter 55. Um, I'm sure it's only like 55 litres or something like that. It's too small for paint spraying. Um, it, it's really, I've got a really, really basic setup. So I um, am spraying it in cellulose paint. Now that isn't a modern paint, it's an old paint. It's not as good as 2K paints or water-based paints and that sort of thing, but I'm just not equipped to spray with those paints. So 2K has isocyanites in it, which is very, very bad, deadly for your health and you need all the relevant PPE to go with it. I don't have that. So I'm gonna be spraying in cellulose. Um, and I think you'll see, watch the video through and see the motions that go through, but the result has come out really well. I'm really, really pleased with it. So a bit of an update on the budget. So I spent quite a lot of money on paint and materials and that sort of thing, it, it adds up. So basically the paint, the primer and the thinners um, and a few mixing cups and filters and that sort of thing come to 158 pounds from paints for you. Uh, that was only a litre of paint as well, but then you thin it down 50-50, so you get two litres out of one litre of paint. Um, but it's it's a lot of money, it adds up. On top of that, there was masking tape, masking paper, plastic sheets, tack wipes, panel wipes, uh, various, uh, extra consumables, which have added on about another 50 quid. So in total, around about 208 quid to spray the front end, the rear end, and the bonnet. Um, so the total so far, I've had a few bits in between, etc., etc. If you remember at the beginning, the car cost me two grand, which we included the delivery. And the total now comes to 3,456 pounds. So we're still under three and a half grand, which I'm quite pleased about to be at this point because we've got, as you'll see at the end of today's video, we've got a car that is all the same color, all solid, brand new front end on it, brand new seals, uh, inner seals all repaired, brand new subframe, new boot floor. That's a hell of a lot of work to have got done for 1,500 quid. As far as time-wise goes, I am, again, by the end of this video, I'll be up to, I think, around about 175, 180 hours, so quite a lot of time as well. Um, so yeah, there is still stuff to buy. Um, there is still stuff to get. There's little bits and bobs which will add on to that. Um, I'm actually a couple of weeks ahead of the videos at the moment, so the video you're seeing, the footage you're seeing today was filmed two weeks ago. Um, which means there was three weeks left until Bingley Hall Mini Fair. Um, for me, for us now, it's one week to go. So, like I say, I'm a couple of weeks ahead. So, from this video today, there is three weeks until Bingley Hall Mini Fair, and you'll see there's quite a lot of work still to be done, but we will get there, I promise. Right, I've been busy today doing really, really boring stuff. So the car has had this primer that's on there at the moment is etch primer. 
it was just on the bare metal bits I do just need to there's a couple of bits where I've rubbed through I just need to give them a quick touch up in etch primer now we're gonna use filler primer on the car as you can see I've masked almost every inch most of the car anyway um, especially like flat surfaces like the roof uh, masking took ages to do actually but I'm sure I've probably missed some bits I don't know I need to as I say etch primer on the just those bare metal bits where I've rubbed through um, a last uh, wipe over with panel wipe and then I've got some tack cloths we're going to be putting I know nothing about this stuff high build primer filler I haven't got a clue I've got it from paints for you they said uh, they would recommend starting with a 80 20 mix so 80 percent filler primer 20 percent dinners um, I've got my lovely Deville bis um, yeah, Deville Bis spray gun, which I got from uh, Mike Mazur. So thank you very much, Mike. I am going to be using that for the colour, but for the primer, I'm going to be using my crappy Sealy gun, and that's probably not. That's 1.4 mil. It's probably, well, not probably. I know it's meant to be bigger than that, but we'll see how it goes. Um, 1.4 mil, I think, is too fine. So. To get over that, what I'll probably do is do lighter, thinner, couple of thin, light coats. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm going to give it a go. You know me. I'm, I'm, I'm not really into spraying. I don't know much about it. I've got a little bit of knowledge, and that can be a dangerous thing. So we'll just we'll see how it goes. Um, at this stage, primer filler. I mean, what can you get wrong? you know you're gonna i'm gonna be rubbing it back afterwards any anyway so um yeah um i'm sure there'll be people getting in the comments telling me i'm doing it all wrong uh, i i i know that i probably am um by the time this video goes out um i probably will have completely finished the spraying so any balls ups have already happened and i've already rectified them if that makes sense um, so I do appreciate when people give me a bit of guidance, but unfortunately just because of the upload schedule I will have done this by the time this video goes out Wish me luck mildly impressed professional sprayers watching that might have been thinking looks like a headless chicken running around but um, I don't know I've never sprayed a mini a front end like that with a spray gun so I'm sort of learning as I go but it seems to have come out all right I did get a couple of runs I've got a run there that means there's enough paint on it <laughs> and I've got a bit of a sag on the scuttle. I think I probably took too much paint on the scuttle. Um, it's had, I think it was about three coats. Um, it's hard to tell how thick it's going on though. So obviously the next job is gonna be 
to wet flat that, I actually find it a bit of a pain because obviously to wet flat it, can you leave the masking paper on or you got to take it off again? Don't know, it took ages to mask it up. And I don't quite know yet how long to leave it to dry for. Obviously it's just air drying in here. Uh, I've got a heater on, so we're up to 17.8 degrees C. So it's not cold, but uh, I'll probably leave the heater on for a few hours. God, I just think of the electric bill. <laughs> but no, I'm genuinely pretty pleased though. These imperfections that I had in the wings, if I look at it, they look pretty good now. Um, I can't see anything in them. This one may be a tiny little bit inside there. But everything else, all the seam joins and that are quite neat and tidy. I think that'd be alright, wouldn't it? Now I don't know what to do next. I might do the back end next. Back end tomorrow, give this an extra day to dry. And then start on the final coat. Who knows, like I say, I'm making it up as I go along. Seems to be going right so far. Right then, we are ready for body colour. I have wet flatted the whole lot with a thousand grit. There was a couple of areas that rubbed through, which I've just zinc primed again, or sorry, etch primed. And there was a couple of little imperfections which I've used fine filler on. But aside from that, I think we are good to go. The only problem I did have is this plastic masking, whatever, sheet is really, really good. It covers loads of the car and it sort of sticks to the car when you put it on. But the problem is, with the primer particularly, um, where the primer was on it and it moves around, it all flakes off, which is a flipping nightmare because you get loads of dust, flake dust. So we're gonna tack rag the whole car before any paint goes on. That's like just a sticky rag. It gets off any of the final bits of dust. Um, paint wise, so we are using a the Vilbis GTI Pro Light. It's a nice, very nice, expensive spray gun that is, and I got given that by a viewer and subscriber of the channel, Mike Mazur. Thank you very much. It's being good, put to good use. The only addition I've added is a water trap to there. Pressure-wise, I'm going to spray at uh, 1.8 bar. Sorry, 1.5 bar, around about 28, 30 psi. Again, that might be all wrong. Um, and by the time this video goes out, I will have already made the mistake. I've got a fine um, paint filter. Uh, the mix is one to one. So we're going to do 200 mil paint, 200 mil thinners. Uh, the thinners are anti-bloom thinners, slightly more expensive. Uh, let's have a look at the paint itself. Oh, look at that. Doesn't it look lovely? Um, got my mixing stick. Only thing I got advised was to put in the thinners really slowly. I think you can shock it or something like that. But aside from that, let's go. I don't know, I've played around a little bit with the setup of the gun, but it's the first time using the gun. As I've said before, I'm kind of making this up as I go along, just fingers crossed to get it right. The only difference between spraying now to when I put the primer filler on you can see I've put it up on uh, jack stands axle stands ramps um, because I just couldn't get underneath to do the lower half of the balance let's go wish me luck fingers crossed <laughs> let's do this right that's the paint mixed up there's no turning back now the only other thing I mentioned so I've tried to get the conditions right in here we're at 17.4 degrees at the moment, 59% humidity. So humidity is quite good. Um, it can get as high as sort of 80, 90% in here. So I've had the dehumidifier running and the heaters running. 
I think we're ready to go. So just fingers crossed, it looks like I've got a huge amount of paint, 400 mil. It doesn't look much in the mixing cup, but I think that's what I worked out. So when I've done the primer filler, I've done, it was about, I used about 360, 370 mil. So we'll just see how it goes anyway. Let's go. Uh, I've got an extractor fan this time. You might have noticed that last time. The extractor fan wasn't doing anything. I'd fitted a filter on the back of it and it was just, it was pulling it too much. So this time I'm gonna, I've taken the filter off the back. I nearly forgot to tack rag it. done a light coat apart from the uh, like the seams the edges anywhere like that because I, I don't my thinking behind that is I don't want to be messing around with a spray gun next try and trying to get in the corners and that sort of thing because what will happen is I'll I'll over paint on the wing or something like that so I've gone a bit heavy on the joins Sort of the areas inside here the areas around here because my thinking is next time when i'm trying to get paint nicely on the wings i don't want to be worried about having to get in the nooks and crannies so i've done the nooks and crannies now um the, the paint dries pretty quickly to be honest um by the time i've got to this side that side is is pretty much dry so i'm going to give it sort of 15 minutes now just to make sure because this this is quite wet paint here um and then we'll go over with another coat but I, yeah i used a lot more paint than i thought it would be
Right, it is done. Now, I might have already said some people watching that back on time lapse might have thought he's running around like a headless chicken. What is he doing? That's not the way to paint a car. But it, I am so pleased with how it's come out. I'm, I'm absolutely made up. I, I don't have any runs in it. I have one sag, which I think will be all right to sort out. And I, I'm just, I know it's gun fresh and the paint always looks better when it's gun fresh. And cellulose especially sinks back quite a lot because, well, I think it does anyway, because half of it is basically thinner. So half of the paint is going to evaporate. But at the moment, it's had a couple of hours two or three hours to dry now and I've just had a look at it again and I'm I'm really really super pleased with it there's very very little crud dust and rubbish in the paint there are some little bits when I catch them in the light but I think they'll be pretty easy to sort out with some very very fine wet and dry and then compounding it I just hope I've put enough paint on I put it was about five coats and I've used 1.2 litres of paint, which sounds, I didn't think it would use that much, but that's how much paint I've put on it. I don't know whether that's good or not, but I'm just conscious with it being cellulose, it is quite forgiving. So the more paint that's on there, the more I can rub back if I need to, if something went wrong. But to be fair, nothing has really gone wrong. The only thing I would probably do different if I'd done it again. There's that sag, sorry. That's the, the only bit I've sort of messed up. There's a sag there, a little bit too heavy on the paint. Um, probably the only bit I would do differently if I'd done it again is really have a plan about what bits you're going to paint. Because what I did find towards the end, when you're trying to get the final... I, I ended up putting like two really wet coats on towards the end. When you put those final wet coats on, what happens is you get overspray on the other panels and then they look dull. Now, I'm sure they'll probably polish back, but like I say, I'm, I'm no professional. This is, this is the first car that I've ever properly sprayed. I, I've dabbled around in the past and I repaired, I had a go at doing the body kit and bonnet on my ERA in two pack. That didn't go that well. Um, this is, yeah, I've not done the whole car, but I've done quite a big chunk of it. Um, like I say, the only difference is I would have a plan about what, what bits to spray because when you're spraying those final wet coats, you get over spraying the other panels and it can make them look dull. So it's almost like, yeah, I, I'm limited a little bit by the compressor um, because I have to keep stopping to let the compressor build back up. So I could probably do have a bigger compressor, but you probably, that final wet coat, you probably just want to do the whole lot. Uh, and I would imagine you probably start from the top and then go downwards. Um, is that right? Or, the, but yeah, start from the top and then go downwards, I think, to stop you getting dry bits. But I think where there are dry bits, I mean, it's probably a bit dry in the middle of the scuttle there, or it looks it anyway, but I think a bit of polish, a bit of compound on there would be fine. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect, but it's, but it is, it is exceeded my expectations anyway. There are some bits I look in it now, and you can see like rubbing down marks where I just I should have prepped it a bit better. But um, for a, it is a budget restoration. I'm not going to take the masking paper off yet. I'm going to give it another probably. 12 hours 24 hours maybe before i touch that i'm i'm the most impatient person in the world if ever there's anyone who sticks their finger in the middle of a bonnet that's wet paint to see if it's dry that is me i'm that person i always do stuff like that i'm stupid and what i what i'm so tempted to start taking the masking paper off but i know what i'll do the, the masking paper goes quite stiff once there's paint on it and i'll end up scratching some of the paint it is it is dry to touch but obviously it will still be soft for a little bit i'm actually quite impressed by how quickly it dries actually much much quicker drying than when you spray something out of a can so like i say i am uh, just 
super, super happy. I mean, even without touching it, it hasn't, I've not done any remedial work on it yet. And um, yeah, lovely reflect reflections in it. There we go. I'm super pleased. I'm a happy bunny today. And as if by magic, I've done the back as well. So the back's come out pretty well. There wasn't a great deal to do on the back, to be honest, was there? Um, I gave the back uh, four coats, uh, which seemed to be okay. I don't think I've got any runs in it, not that I can see. It all looks all right. Uh, there's a bit of a sag there, I think. It might be a sag or it might be the weld line. But obviously I will now, once that's, I'll probably go give it a week to dry before I start doing anything, reassembling. But, well, a week, weekend maybe. Three or four days. I should be able to blend that into the old paintwork. Um, like I say, this car has been resprayed, so hopefully the old paintwork is not too faded. I mean, this blue looks absolutely gorgeous, fresh out the can, doesn't it? Uh, next bit to paint, I need to paint the bonnet and the seam strips. Uh, and then that is the paintwork pretty much done. Uh, I, I will have used pretty much all the paint. I was getting worried that I won't have enough, but I think I think I should just about be all right. 